Hi Year 12, I hope you are keeping well um, with your families. Um, just an update for me really, really important time of the year for you to be exploring universities and options. Um, I just wanted to spend a minute or two talking about what I decided because there's so much out there for you. Um, it's really important to think through your options. So when you're thinking about university, um, something I looked at was um, geography, as in not the subject but where the university is. That's really important. If you're going to be happy and successful, you want to be somewhere where you can grow and develop as a person. So you need to decide whether you're going to stay in London or not. And if not London, where? Another city? Um, are you going to be far from home, close to home? You want to consider the pros and cons of staying in London. Um, you'll save money on accommodation if you stay at home, but you might miss out on all other things like developing independence and your skills and meeting new people and having more freedom. So for some people it's really important to get away and to get out. Um, I chose Manchester. Um, it's a diverse cosmopolitan city. Um, I loved it because it's got the greatest football team in the world. I love the music scene there. I love that it was a, a city like London, full of great culture and art and things to do, but it was much smaller. And it was it's away from London, it's up north, so um, really could uh, meet new people and develop new skills and not just rely on my old friendship group. And it was the best decision I ever made, um, meeting my uh, future wife there and um, lifelong friends and experiences. So I think that's really important. And after university, I came back to London and you know could, could carry on loving London as a city, my favourite city in the world. But Manchester was much smaller um, and just that far enough from home to feel like you're really being independent. In terms of courses I really couldn't decide between English or philosophy um, and I was very close to choosing philosophy but in the end I went with English because it was more broad and generic, it kept my options open and also I could study philosophy within English so I could also keep that passion and that interest of mine. Um, there's so many resources available, use Unifrog, it's fantastic, use the um, uh, all of the websites. I know that it's not possible with the lockdown at the moment but obviously in the future Go to an open day. Go and see the place for yourself. I did that. I looked at Leeds. I looked at York, Manchester, Liverpool, Birmingham. You need to go and see it. You're going to be living there for three, maybe four years, or medics, five or six, seven years, um, architects, seven years. So it's really important that you've been there, that you've experienced the place and the culture, and if it's, that's the kind of thing um, that, that's right for you. But whatever you do, um, be prepared. Um, be ready and you will be absolutely um, fine um, and enjoy enjoy this whole process about preparing for university and those of you that aren't looking at university um, good luck uh, to you as well there's lots and lots of information online for you and any queries just get in get in touch but we do recommend that everyone applies to UCAS because you might change your mind if you decide not to go to university one more thing to consider um, the job market now is, is very very competitive we would encourage you to aspire if you're going to university to aspire to the very very top um, universities the Russell Group ones because they have got more prestige they're more established and they do carry more weight in the job market so um, have a good look at the prestige of the university and the last thing for me is just the course itself Surprisingly enough, there's a very, very, lot of great difference between courses. There are a lot of differences. So do your reading up on them, because some courses are more um, modern focused, some are, uh, are more contemporary, others are more um, traditional. So you will be studying for three years. It's hard work, so have a good look at the courses. And if you get called up for interview, they'll be really impressed if you can talk about the different modules that they offer and, and, and the reading that you've done. So, yeah, plenty to think about and to do. Um, keep in touch, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.